Right, well, it's um, been a bit of a colder night last night, and as you can see, we've got frost on the window of the Aventine, so I'm going to uh, put the blower on here. Uh, see Huh. Now <laughs> the Aventine doesn't want to start. Turn this off. Well, let's uh, hope <laughs> that's just a sign of nothing. Okay. Put this on uh, defrost. Right, while this is defrosting, um, I decided to start putting uh, episode numbers on the beginning of my videos. And uh, why was I, why am I doing that? I asked myself that really. The reason is because my videos are a kind of a continuing story and they're just the story of um, myself and some people around me, people that I talk to, people that I meet, uh, who talk about mainly cars, that's really what it's about, but other things that guys and men talk about and in relation to machines like my pinball machine and um, uh, car collection I guess and uh, ATVs, I don't know, crappy things that guys talk about and, and find uh, interesting and exciting. And I say guys because frankly, you know, I realized uh, early on in my life that men and women were different like we all do and uh, you know, I went to an all boys school. Uh, when I left school and I went into the, um, the real world and found out that there were you know, half of the people were, were women and then I realized they were different. Um, then I also uh, spent a couple of years on a building site and I worked in uh, an exclusive, exclusively male environment and you know we did uh, male things. Uh, we played cards, poker, we gambled, we talked about women, we talked about cars, we messed around with machinery, we messed around with ATVs, we, we did all sorts of things. Uh, and none of which I found that women found exciting or interesting. So the relationship that I had, I think which was common with a lot of guys that I knew, was a, a group of us were enjoying different things uh, and talking about different things and what we were when we, we were with women. And I'll give you just one example, one good example. Last night I was on eBay, and you know, I've had some bad experiences with cars recently on eBay, you know, my Daimler. But last night I see a car, I'm, oh, I really tempted to buy it. I, I actually pushed the buy now button and I stopped myself at the last minute putting a bid in. And I've, uh, this hasn't ended this auction, so I'm still, it's, it's ongoing. But uh, the point was that I, I, I talked to Tom about it and I said, you know, Tom, I nearly bought this bloody car and I explained what it was and he was really excited and he was egging me on to buy it. And then, of course, I, I, I thought I'd better soften the blow in case I did, so I mentioned it to my wife. Now, you know, this is the difference. If one guy talks to another guy that he's going to buy a car, <laughs> the conversation is different <laughs> to uh, what happens if uh, he's talking to a woman usually, well, A, if his wife, or B, just any woman, because any woman would be bored silly. Well, what are you talking to me about that for? <laughs> so there is a big difference. Anyway, so so I, I decided that, um, you know, all the problems and, and ups and downs and ins and outs and everything that I'm having with cars. Uh, it just continues on and on. So anyway, what's happening now? Uh, Dodge. About a week or so ago, uh, we uh, discovered that the um, the switch for the blower heater um, uh, was buggered up, basically. So I found another one on the internet in America, and I bought it. And it looks as if it's uh, it's arrived already. But of course, you know, the British government being what they are and everything, uh, I've got to go and pay for it. In fact, it's going to cost me more to go and collect it and pay for the duty and, and handling charges and God knows what, than actually it costs me to buy it from America and have it shipped over or posted over here. 
So that's where I'm going to go now. Pick it up. Hopefully, it is the right switch. We'll find out. Well, I'm sorry about the little monologue, uh, but I thought I'd better explain things. Uh, lovely day today. This Aventime is a uh, really nice car to drive, actually. It's, uh, it, it's gr I mean, I like it, and, I, and, I, I, and I, I loved it from the minute I had it, really. I was quite surprised. It was actually better than I thought, because I bought it blind there again. A nice guy in Scotland and brought it down to me. Um, and it was actually better than I thought. Or I thought it was going to be. But actually, it's, it's grown on me. It's a lovely, it's a smooth car to drive. I noticed that the uh, the only thing about the uh, the car is that uh, the last week or so, it's um, taking a little bit longer sometimes to start. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. I mean, I, I, th I think every other time I started it, it started instantly, and I know, oh, right, today it was cold, and I haven't driven it for a couple of days, but it had to be churned a little bit. So, we're uh, just coming up here to uh, where this uh, post office sorting uh, place is, and hopefully we will uh, be able to get this parcel. <laughs> well, you have to laugh. <laughs> 20 pounds I had to pay to collect that part. A 70-year-old switch that's come from America, and, and I've paid more for it to get it here. That's not it. That's not the cost of buying it. That's just the cost that the government's charged me. <laughs> because the postage was paid in America, I paid for that. And uh, the part I paid for, but I've had to pay another 20 pounds to my government for the privilege... <laughs> Of having it. Oh, I'm, enough said. <laughs> oh well, hope it works all right. <laughs> right, new tires, new wheels. That's good. Getting the old ones off is probably going to be a problem because the, uh, the bolts are. Rust it in. Will that reach him? Yeah. Yeah, there they go. Oh, good. So they're not rusted solid. No, that one wasn't. No, that's good. What about Jack? I've got Jack in the van. Oh, right. Right, they're fine. Oh, good. They've done the 20 PSI. Um, I'll test which the, what these are when I've taken it off. Well, that doesn't mean much. And then <laughs> taking it, you know. But they, well, it's exposed to them, but it seems to wired nice. It's probably how Caroline's used to it. Yeah. Do the same pressure. I think 20 was the pressure. Is the pressure not written on them? Usually no, it's it got right. um, maximum of 36 psi right. when trying to get the bead to seal. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, but not actually what it runs no. I think 20 is quite high. I, I think it depends what it is. If you're, if you're using in mud and stuff, I think if you're in, they're down to 10 on those. Yeah, you know, it's only it's just, a, just yeah. <coughs> you can tell by the way they up as well. Yeah. Push on them. Yeah, that's right. But I think I think for what she's using it for, right. they want to be about twenty to them. Right. Oh, good. Okay. Trying to jack it up without spilling the drink is 
One of the hardest things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, wow. Oh, what a difference. Oh, it's come up like new, isn't it? Only thing I found mm. was that one, that one, and a little bit of this, these two, mm. where it was bare. So I pulled them apart and I'll get some electrical tape and put it on each other. Yeah, because obviously if, it, if they've been the nesting there. No, I can't see if you've got the others. I've been looking for that as I've been going as well. Anyway. The trouble with all that stuff is, of course, that it's all brittle now, isn't it? And you never better rewire it all. No. God. Yeah. How the hell did they do that? Can I look under here? Oh wow. That's clean. I hope it just works now. Yeah. And that's had the one side of it. Yeah. It's took quite a bit off, but... Well, it's, it has been so sitting. This one, like the first touch on the rust. Yeah. Done that one line there, so I stopped. Yeah. That's not bad, bad. Once you no, get it's not too bad. In there, no, 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 it's not too bad. So as oh, come up brilliant. now, I've gone to lunch and come back, it is a bit more glazed. Yeah, maybe another couple of coats, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so I a couple of coats. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's to protect the uh, painting. What I was going to say up. is, mm. in here, mm. it's got that fluffy stuff in here, which I kind of guess when you slide your glass against and it sits on it. Yeah, yeah. Sorts of vibrations. So I was thinking about getting a strip of that stuff you bought for your Citroen, the rubber D. And put well, there's in some in the, in the boot, isn't it? Yeah, and put there's, some there's enough of it. across there. We'll try that, yeah. And then this has got something soft again for the glass to sit on. Yeah, well, it's in the um, it's in the boot of the two CV. Yeah. Okay, that's really brilliant. So Let's hope it all works now. Literally, I'll do a couple more coats. Yeah. Slide the glass on. The hardest bit's going to be getting on his legs. I haven't worked that out yet. Don't know how I got it off then. See I reckon you tip it forward and put the legs up and then lift it up. I'm just scared about this breaking off. That's what I'm scared of. All right. Well, we'll do it together. Yeah. yeah. When you come to do it, it'll be when you come back anyway next week. Oh, I'll grab those legs today if you want. Hey. A couple more coats. That won't take too long. Get all right. Well, on. See how it goes. On we pay for going. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hello, Dad. <Deb>. Hi. <laughs> right. Did you put any on that trailer hitch? Yeah. Oh, good. It went up and down the last couple of times, using quite well. Yeah, that's all it is, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, and Yeah. Did you come across your. You lost something, didn't you? <laughs> My <Yeah>. sensors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the grease bottle. That's right. Yeah, I was talking uh, about that the other day. Uh, Did you get it? I uh, haven't seen it. I was going to ask to borrow yours. Um, cause you said you had a different attachment, didn't you? Which yeah, you yeah, handy. I've got different. I got the uh, like the square ones. Uh, got all different types of the nozzle ones. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what type it needs. Yeah, when, Tom's going to do the grease to dodge. They the normally the standard size. Weeks. Yeah, yeah, you should be. Yeah. But I've got two or three different types. I've got one the pump. Yeah. I got one just like a you push. Yeah. So. It's entirely up to you if you want it. Well, yeah. Thank you. I've got a punch, is it? No, we just bought two new wheels and tires. Yeah. The wheels have had it. The wheel on that side is about to shatter. Yeah. The front ones went. We changed them a couple of years ago.
Well, they look good. They got a cap. And it goes on first, though, doesn't it? Different size. Comes in from the inside. Different size. Is it? Yeah, it has got a smaller hole in that one. Oh. The wheels fit. Obviously, they're actually Honda wheels, and these are TCP wheels. The wheels are do fit. They, 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 didn't, they didn't come with a cap. No. Oh, that's bad. If you've got no cap, you're going to get all the mud in the... Uh, the front hasn't got a cap either, so it must have been a thing yeah. that happened when you've done the front. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Tell you what. It's possible. You sure they don't fit when you put them on from the inside? Yeah, they're about a centimetre too short on the damper. Well, we better keep them. So you want a slightly bigger one then? Mm. They're not deep enough as well for some reason. Mm. Oh. Alright. got a better vehicle than the guy who delivered it. Yeah, I know his vehicle, yeah. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, and I, I thought, you know, if the other I was moving, I would just winch it to here, yeah. then, you know. Because yeah. otherwise, you're pushing and pulling, whatever you're doing out there is going to be terrible yeah, on that crash. It it, no matter how much traction, yeah, a lot of the time, we, lately, we've been using, because obviously the ground, we've got this little D2 cat, yeah. this, it gets traction, where, yeah. yes, you've got tyres, you haven't got the weight, and you're pushing in the, right, the wrong yeah. direction and it just... Yeah. Yeah, you've got the big one. You've got the longer one than they normally can get down. This is, this is our... This is our, this is our small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've had them down here, this thing. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It is a very handy. It gets into some places easier than our rigid yeah. where it is. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? You want that car moving? Uh, yeah. Very good. You want that car move?
But then the trailer we was using the other day, yeah. it takes about nine miles to turn it around a corner. Yeah, that's brilliant. Like this one, it... That's a nice. handy little thing. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not far from yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Rocky Country Lane. Right. And, above it. and it's not so crowded in the day, it's in the morning. Yeah. Very impressive. <laughs> Sandy, now the second time I drove it, Sandy, I'm learning. <laughs> well, I don't think I could have done that. <laughs> but sure, I could. So you got all the stuff. Gauge it. Have you got the gauge it? Yeah. <laughs> One of you have to go and sit down inside. Just put a block in front. Put one of the concrete blocks in front. Normally 
It's a nice one. Yeah, it's in lovely one. condition. Yeah. Quite new. And have the double glazing. It's double glazing, you see, yeah. Big yeah. I don't know what the guys use it for. I think they're living in it for a while, just right. you know. We thought it was a nice one really. It is very nice, yeah. Right, probably a few unwanted papers to behind that. He does it actually sometimes at the weekend when you've got a bit of time. He's actually put a little device on the front of his bike and yeah, goes down the road, but it's not a safe way of doing it. Mind your tire. So I didn't want to rip your no, tire no, rip. No, no, no. It's good, but I can't let it fly around. Drive around, pull it out. Man. Yeah, I'll no, come this way a little bit more. Yeah, get a bit square, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, then the five feet runs more forward. Just drive on the concrete. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good.
You guys are the first people to drive on this. That's good.
quite nice to see actually. Right, well, two great guys who uh, did a fantastic job moving the uh, static home. Uh, that trailer was really good. It apparently belonged to a brewery and uh, they, um, they bought it and modified it a bit and uh, perfect for that size of uh, caravan or trailer or mobile home or whatever. Um, the, uh, the guy had only been driving this truck. It's the second time he's driven this, or I think the trailer, I couldn't know which, but he did a fantastic job turning it around. And look at the size, it's just brilliant on there. But uh, I was a bit worried going out the, uh, the driveway with the trees and everything. But it went fine, no problem at all. And, uh, you know, sad to see it go this. Uh, but uh, two guys did a really good job. Yeah, well done to them. Right, so just a bit of a postscript here. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, just see what this is like, if it is actually what I thought it was. Right, so inside here, very carefully packed, we've got a um, load of packing. Now that's, that's a bit odd. When I bought this in the advert, it had the box. And now, it's just come without the box. That's a pity, actually, because the box had the part number and everything else on it. That's a shame. Well packed. Now, uh, well, my apologies to uh, anyone. This seems to be the right one because you see, I couldn't figure out why it had that spring but that's got three positions one two three but it hasn't got the box I just hope it's um I hope it's uh, and what it is is it's supposed to be new old stock So if we um, get this wired up and it works, it'll be a good job done. It'll be well worth the £20 uh, pounds that I paid uh, the government. <laughs>